Hey everyone, how you doing? Welcome back to the channel. I'm going to do a review on something Harley Quinn related. Here is the 1-6 scale Harley Quinn Hot Toys collection. And over here we have the 1-1 one, one scale prop replica baseball bat. Uh, Harley Quinn's weapon of choice. Well, one of them anyway. Uh, from the movie Suicide Squad. And I think it's, uh, who's this made by again? I think it's Noble? Nobel? Is that you say it? Uh, be on here somewhere. Suicide Squad, DC, Warner Brothers. Um, well, yeah, I'm pretty sure. Oh, there it is. No, it just says baseball bat, authentic prop replica. Well, it really does feel legit. I mean, I was uh, concerned that it might be a bit light or, um, you know, not 100%, but it really does feel like I've taken it out of the packaging already, but I thought I'd just start the review. Uh, just going to be a short little video. There's not much to say, really. It's a baseball bat, so I'll just kind of show you it and say whether it's good or bad. <laughs> so <laughs> there we go. Uh, I do intend to put it above the collection room door here. Uh, so I'll do that very soon. I think I'll just literally put in two long nails and then just balance the baseball bat. Maybe slightly askew, kind of like tilted slightly. Maybe something like that. I think it'll look nice there above the doorway to the collection room. So let's get it out and have a nice look at it. But it really does seem, you know, 100% legit. All right, there it is. I was looking for the company name. In case you're wondering, it's uh, the Nobel Collection. I'm not sure quite what that says on the gold bit in the very small print, but that is the company logo, I guess. It's the first thing I've ever had from this company. And here is the bat. The baseball bat. There's a nice bit of weight to it. Heavier than I thought it would be. I don't know how Harley Quinn managed to swing this around, so it really is heavy. But, um, yeah, 100% all the uh the text and everything really done well very vibrant paintwork it says good night and then we've got all the uh the scrawlings and scribbles i'm not going to read all of this to you because uh just little bits here and there what says hey baby want me to teach these loses a lesson <laughs> that's just one little bit of text that i saw there um but yeah comparing it to the hot toys uh one six scale bat if i can just get the camera to focus yep so really really nice very legit like i say um now i remember nick was in uh one of the shops near where he lives in brighton and he sent me a picture of uh, this along with some other cool stuff by NECA that was in stock in the shop he was in and I remember when he sent me this I can't remember what he said exactly he might have just said something like this looks like something you'd like or uh, have you seen this before or something like that and I did see it and I thought oh that does look very nice and uh, very nice and affordable I think this was uh, about 60 pounds uh, maybe slightly less than that gosh I'm terrible with remembering prices but um, yeah really really good definitely not you know some kind of cheap replica it's, it's proper thick wood this is really heavy and it makes that proper baseball bat noise if you can kind of hear that um very very nice so i'm not really too sure what else i can tell you people i mean it's just a, a long chunk of wood <laughs> with some cool paintwork on it they might be kind of decals that have been transferred onto the wood um in certain light you can see the kind of uh, outline around the writing, the shiny outline, like it's a transfer that's gone onto the wood. I, I guess that's how it's all done. Uh, I did see someone on YouTube make one of these, and I believe that's how they got all the text on there. They actually kind of, um, you know, had it put onto the bat with some kind of decal thing, but I'm not too sure how these things work. But this is gorgeous. There's even a lovely bit of, um, it's not like the white tape around the handle is not pristine white. It does look weathered, like it's actually been, you know, held a good few times so um yeah this will go up here above the door and i'll let you see that in the future and maybe a nice little uh, collection tour of the room and stuff i have been moving some stuff around again always changing the horror shelf around now it's truly a horror shelf again i did have uh, some marvel stuff there for a bit but it just didn't work with all the michael myers stuff alongside it uh here's my spider-man stuff down here until i can find a better place to put it uh, I will let you know I've got something incredible uh, on the way, thanks to one of my Patreons. 
Uh, I'll say the name and I'll let you know all about it once I do the unboxing. But um, incredible, incredible surprise from one of my patrons. Uh, just really, really cool. It is Batman Hot Toys related. Something that I didn't think I'd be showing you guys. Something I didn't think I'd be reviewing. It turns out now that I am. Uh, maybe in about four days from now. So three, four days, something like that. But I will let you know all about that as soon as it turns up. So keep an eye on the channel because there is some Hot Toys Batman related stuff coming very, very soon. Thanks to an amazing person out there who I will name and dedicate everything to once that time comes. But anyway, this is the Nobel Harley Quinn 1 1 scale prop replica baseball bat. Absolutely excellent. Thanks for watching, guys. Highly recommend this. Thanks for watching. I'll see you soon.